Will admissions look down on LSAT flex takers if they've already gotten an underwhelming in-person score? So let's say your in-person score was low, your LSAT flex score is higher. No, they won't look down on it. They obviously, they will know you took the LSAT flex in part because LSAC tells them and also because of the month in this case. Like nobody's taken the May LSAT in person. So if you took the May LSAT, they'll know it's online. Same goes if the June in-person LSAT is canceled and the June LSAT has to be online, they'll know. Is it a huge deal? Not really. Law schools are pretty confident in LSAC's ability to administer a valid and reliable admission test. They're fairly confident that a 75 question exam can be equivalent to or equated with a 100 question exam. Obviously, there are pros and cons to doing it a shorter LSAT at home potentially versus a longer one in person. But law schools, they want the number, they have incentive to care about the number because that's what goes into the, that's what goes to the ABA. That's what's factored into the U.S. news rankings as well. So I wouldn't worry about it. Just get the score. The number is what matters the most at the end of the day. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.